Dear buddy, just thought I'd drop you a line and see how you're getting along over there in Vietnam. I'll bet you're having a ball. Things are dull around here. I was over to see your wife last night and she read me all your letters. They sure were mushy. But I don't blame you cause that Frances is a swell gal. Wonderful figure, good looks. Not much up here, but a good old gal. All the guys still whistle at her when she walks down the street. Your brother-in-law Sam dropped in. At least he said he was your brother-in-law. He was wearing that brown suit you bought just before you left. Friend give it to him cause she thought it'd be out of style whenever you get back. Several other couples dropped by and we killed off a few six packs. Now we offered to chip in and pay for it, but Fran wouldn't let us. She said you would send her ten dollars to spend any way she wanted to. One of the guys in our gang is buying you golf clubs. He paid Fran twenty-five dollars for the set. And that's a lot more than she got for your movie camera, projector, and motorcycle. That Fran sure was the life of the party. I thought she'd be a little shook up after that terrible accident she had in your convertible. But you'd never know she had been in a head-on collision and tore it all to pieces. They think the other driver will be out of the hospital in a year or two. I don't think he's gonna sue you like he's been threatening to. At least we hope not, since she forgot to pay the insurance. But funny thing, she don't seem to be a bit worried. She says she can always mortgage the house if she has to. It's a good thing you give her power of attorney before you left. Now to get back to the party. You should have seen that friend doing her imitations of Carol Baker and Elkie Summers. She's really got the figure and I guess she told you she's been doing some modeling for that Playboy magazine. Boy, she was still going strong when we all said goodnight to her and Claude. Claude sure is happy now that she's rented him that spare room y'all have. It's so close to his work and he saves a lot of money on gas and lunches. Well, old buddy, not much new here. Just wanted to write and cheer you up a bit. Guess I'll sign off. It's it's getting late. I can see him now across the lawn there on your front porch. He sure looks good in that smoking jacket of yours and Oh, friend, she looks like a doll in them silk pajamas you sent her. Well, buddy, I sure wish I could be over there with you, but maybe I can do my part by staying here and looking after things and reporting to you, keeping you cheered up. Well, give them both barrels over there and don't forget to write. Yours truly.